Jim Carrey's really not having the best time at the moment. First, his team up with Ben Stiller in Used Guys gets canned. Then, his team up with Tim Burton for Ripley's Believe It or Not is put on the permanent back burner. Now, as Used Guys goes ahead with Will Arnett in Carrie's old role, Carrie's attached himself to Sober Buddies, a comedy about a party animal software exec who gets a court appointed Sober Buddy, played by Carrie, to accompany him on a trip to uh, Las Vegas for an important meeting. Both fall off the wagon. Hilarity ensues. I think my heart just stopped. There must be something in Ridley Scott's water that Russell Crowe just can't gulp down fast enough as, oh, ew, oh, that's not right. But they're set to reteam anyway for the CIA drama Body of Lies. Co-starring Leonardo DiCaprio and written by the departed scribe William Monaghan, it's a project that already screams Best Picture 2009. Now this will be the fifth time Crowe and Scott have collaborated. After Gladiator, A Good Year, the recently completed American Gangster, and the revisionist Robin Hood retelling Nottingham that goes into production early next year. So what's the reason for this continual working relationship? Does Crow feel indebted to Scott for getting him his Oscar? Or does Scott feel Crow's his white knight in getting him his own Oscar? Maybe it's a love of cigars. Or could it be that they just both have an incredible amount of personal and professional respect and trust for each other? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, it's the cigar one. Any story that includes the words Germany, Scientology, and Valkyrie has got to be good for a laugh, and this one doesn't disappoint. Director Brian Singer is reteaming with his usual suspects writer Christopher McQuarrie for Valkyrie, an historical thriller about an internal Nazi plot to kill Hitler. The problem arose when it was revealed that Tom Cruise is a Nazi, or rather that he's playing the Nazi who plots the whole rebellion out. Germany's defence ministry, historically renowned for its religious tolerance, apparently told the production it couldn't film there because Cruz is a Scientologist, Scientology is a cult, etc, etc. Now the German government is on the back foot, scrambling to save its reputation, and now seems to be offering United Artists almost anything at once, from filming permits to locations, and as many Jews as they can eat. And they say nothing good ever comes of persecution. Stating the obvious to fill out time, Playboy magazine founder Hugh Hefner has it pretty good. Knee deep in cash, hot and cold running nude chicks, and he gets to walk around in his pyjamas all day. The yeah, it's got box office gold written all over it. Brian Grazer optioned the rights to Hefner's life several years ago, and there's been a few unsuccessful attempts to get it up <laughs> ever since. Oliver Stone had a few cracks, as did 8 Mile writer Scott Silver, who tried it as a musical. But I think they're all going about this the wrong way. You're obviously going to need someone just as immersed in their own world of delusion and make-believe. Someone who walks around thinking they're the king, when everyone else is just wondering how long it's going to be till he dies. Brett Ratner has signed to direct. We'll be back after this. <laughs> 